And as the world debates how to deal with Myanmar, the military crackdown continues. At least eight more people have been shot dead. The death toll, we are told, has risen to 70 now. And we may not have the full measure of how bad the situation is. The military junta has removed insurgents from its list of terror groups. The Arakan Army, it's one of the most formidable rebel forces in Myanmar. It has been involved in ethnic wars in the Rakhine state. The designation of this outfit as a terror group has now been terminated. Why? To maintain peace. That's what the army generals say. It's humbug. A terror group has been co-opted in the name of maintaining peace as police officials have a field day killing unarmed protesters. And India is not the only country to feel the repercussions of this crackdown. Even Thailand is preparing for an influx of refugees. Here's a report. What you see are refugee shelters. They've been set up along Thailand's border with Myanmar. They will house refugees fleeing the crackdown. There's heavy security deployment. Soldiers, rangers and health officials are at every corner. Thailand doesn't want to take any chances. That's a next door neighbor sharing a long common border with Myanmar. And Thai people having close interaction in many aspects. Thailand continues to follow developments in Myanmar with much concern. As with other countries, we are saddened by the loss of lives and sufferings of the people of Myanmar due to escalating violence in the country. Back in Yangon, the crackdown is escalating. The protesters are fleeing bullets, carrying dead bodies along. The forces are sparing no one. This video is from a tea shop in Mandalay. As unwitting customers have their breakfast, security forces fire slingshots at the shop. What follows is a spree of destruction. In the city of Dawei, the situation is no better. The crackdown has reached the doors of protesters. Street battles have begun. The police comes armed with tear gas canisters. The protesters come prepared with buckets of water. Amid this turmoil, the army junta has taken a major step. It has delisted the Arakan army from its list of terror groups. The army says the group no longer carries out terror attacks and will now help forces in maintaining law and order. Meanwhile, Aung San Suu Kyi continues to be in detention. Fresh charges of corruption have been filed against her. This time, she has been accused of accepting an illegal payment of $600,000 while in power. The accusations were leveled at a rare press conference held by the Myanmar army. Former Yangon Regional Minister Mr. Fio Men Ten has revealed that he gave Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi the cash of 600,000 US dollars and 7 kilograms of Academy gold between December 2017 to March 2018. These charges have done little to change the mind of protesters. They have vowed to come out on the streets every day with one slogan. The revolution must prevail. Bureau Report, we own. World is one. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.